right, people, what is going on? This is episode 476 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. We're going to talk about some Atlanta Falcons today. Um, I talked about them a little bit in my live stream this weekend. If you haven't checked that out, or hopefully you will um, look at it at some time. Uh, we talked about benching Mariota, and um, at this point, I'm definitely standing by that at this point. So uh, if that's something that you disagree with, fine, I get it. I, you know, we all agree to disagree, or we just have our gripes, or whatever the case may be. But I feel like it's Desmond Ritter time. I feel like Marcus Mariota's done enough for this team in 10 games, let Mariota play the rest and see what happens. Um, with that being said, the title of this episode, the Atlanta Falcons should not. I agree with myself, and I will say it again. <laughs> they should not look for a franchise quarterback. Not yet. I feel like uh, Desmond Ritter should get a chance to do something with the uh, what we have here and see what happens. We're going to talk about that. If this is your first time here, welcome. I could be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. And uh, I want to appreciate everybody who did come to that live stream. I mean, it was a really good, healthy discussion. A lot of guys put in their two cents. A couple people gave me something to think about. And uh, that live stream that we did that Saturday basically was going to be this episode today. But since Georgia Southern wasn't playing and the Falcons wasn't playing because they both played on Thursday, uh, I put that out there, and it, it it made me take the next step. And the next step is now, like, you drafted a quarterback in the third round with Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter has shown flashes in the preseason. But the problem is he hasn't played a down yet that I can remember. I don't think he has. He hasn't played a down yet in the regular season. To be quite honest, I don't see the reason why he shouldn't play at this point. Uh, you you have a situation where you know what you got with Marcus Mariota. Mariota has not played very well in the last couple of games. I don't want to go down that whole spill of, you know, his performance because we talked about that for almost an hour and a half last, this weekend. But I feel that you give Desmond Ritter these last seven games and see what he can do. I mean, I'm not saying that you're tanking or anything. I don't think you are. In some cases, this could be an upgrade to Mariota, believe it or not. But I feel like this is the time to see what you got. And knowing what you have with him, then you would know later on if you have to look for another quarterback in the draft. But I think after seven games, I think it's much more of a window, is much is much bigger of a window to see what you got in Desmond Ritter. You're going to get all types of scenarios thrown at him from midseason woes, first game woes, um, all type of scenarios in and out of a game to – Let's say if the division is on the line, and how does he respond to the division? Uh, winning the division at the end of the season. What happens in certain rivalry games? You got to understand, we still got the Bucks and the Saints to play. What happens if we do make it to the playoffs? How well does he play in this first playoff game? You, you, you will have a big window of what you have with Desmond Ritter within these seven games. So I think, you know, thank you, Marcus. You've done. I think he's done a phenomenal job, but with us being two games under 500, there's no reason to go down that road even in, any longer, in my opinion. I feel like at this point, you go ahead and put Ritter in, which I say I think he's a better option at this point. You put Ritter in, see what you got, and from there, you will see where you go with the quarterback. Now, I know there's another elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about. Matt Ryan looking pretty good. Um, on his game back, even though he didn't look good for the most part this season. But we're not going to talk about that because, you know, our fans are, they get really sentimental about Matt Ryan, and I, I, I understand. 14 years at, as, as as our quarterback, I understand it. Look like he's going to be looking pretty good at the end of the day with, um, I think it was like some type of comeback win. He had. I, I don't even watch him. Like, like I said, it's irrelevant to talk about Matt Ryan over here for first and frame rates because he's not in a Falcons uniform. It's no reason. But the same thing I feel about Justin Fields. Because Justin Fields is looking pretty good the last two weeks. He actually got a receiver now. But to be honest with you, every time I see Justin Fields, he's running all over the place. I think he like set some record last week and he ran for another touchdown this week. And it was like a long run. Listen, don't get me wrong. Production is production. I'm all for it if you're able to put points on the board and you be productive for a team. I'm not against that at all. 
But to be quite honest, I don't want my running, I don't want my quarterback running the ball like that. It's it, it's kind of like the same thing like I feel about Lamar Jackson, where I I, I still think that the Falcons are probably going to go after him this uh, off season. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. But I feel that. I don't. I feel that I don't want my running back. I don't. I don't. I keep saying that. I don't want my quarterback running like a running back. I want a quarterback. He doesn't have to be as talented, but I want him in the same realm of a uh, Patrick Mahomes when his style of play, not with the wild and crazy plays he does sometimes. Because sometimes stuff is risky, but it's productive. Josh Allen is another one. I would like to see a guy like a Josh Allen type of style of play. They have to run when they, you know, when it's like a last resort or it's not the makeup of their game. You know, their arm is the makeup of their game, but they will kill you with their legs if they have to. But I have yet to see that. I have yet to see that with Justin Fields. And it's it's like it's not a knock on him. And I'm pretty sure that he could probably develop that down the road. But I, but at the time, and I, I I know I'm going to sound crazy when I say this, but at the time I kind of understood why we did not pick up Justin Fields. You still had Matt Ryan at the time, and um, you wanted to get some weapons because Julio was gone. I get it, but knowing what I know now, like I said, I know it's going to sound crazy, but knowing what I know now is like, why even get Pitts? Why even get Drake London? Because you're not throwing the ball. Like, like what are we doing here? So now I'm thinking. You might as well go out and put Desmond Ritter out there, see what you got, see if you're going to throw the ball more, see if you're going to be more efficient, see if you're going to complete more passes because it is a winning formula when you're able to be efficient at quarterback. I said this on the on, on my on my live stream this weekend. Desmond Ritter don't have to do much more than what's already being done. Just complete more passes, make better decisions, be more accurate. You be more accurate. You you we we probably got like three more games in the win column. Maybe four. And I'm dead serious when I said that. That's why I was like, you look at this team and the way it's set up. I still feel like we're the best team in the division. I still feel that way overall. We're just a quarterback away. But I still don't think you have to go look for a franchise quarterback yet. I don't think Arthur Smith, I don't think Terry Fontenot is actually doing that now. I think they're being as patient as they can. They don't want to put a rookie quarterback out there. Um, They want a veteran. They want somebody who they think they can figure it out. But after 10 games, you're four and six. I don't think it's not much more to figure out yet. You're two games behind in the division. It's nothing else to figure out. You know what you have with Marcus. You about to go up against Justin Fields next week. Then we play, let me look, I think we play Chicago. Let me say that before I, uh, before I get this wrong. Yeah, we're about to play Chicago. So, something needs to be done here. Something needs to be done. And in, in my opinion, I feel like there's, in my opinion, I think the only thing you could do, honestly, is go ahead and put Ritter out there. Why not? That's how you will figure out what you got. I, I, I guess you put Marcus Mariota out there again, at least, at least you find out what he has in a half. If if Marcus can't do anything in one half, in halftime you need to put Ritter out there. But I don't even think that's healthy in the in, in the long run. I just feel that you just need to go ahead and put Ritter out there, let him start. Go ahead and let him start. There's a lot of other places that, you know, I'm not going to name right now. You know, a lot of my contemporaries out here that's doing content creation on this team, you know, they are looking at, I mean, they are saying the same thing I'm saying. It's finally, it's finally time to see what Desmond Ritter has. It's, it's time. And, and, and it's no reason to. Now, from there, you'll find out if you need to get a franchise quarterback from there, but as of right now, there's no need to look for one right now. And I understand you look at the quarterback we could have got the kid from Kennesaw. You know, it would have been nice to have him. But it, it just didn't play, it didn't play out that way. 
I want to look at this. I didn't even know Detroit came back and won, scored 21 points to beat the Bears. My God. I just, I, I'm looking at it now. Didn't even notice that. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> you like I said, you look at the situation with the Falcons. It is it's time. It's time. There's no there's no excuse at this point. There, there's really no excuse. Go ahead and put them out there, see what you got, and then you figure out the franchise. But you're trying to get a franchise quarterback right now. That does you no good. That does you no good. Because they're basically saying you're trying to tank for the tank for the rest of the season. And I know there's a lot of people that I've seen on Twitter say this, and I'm like, okay, I get it. You know, you have your opinion, but piggybacking on what I said in the live stream with it's time to bench Mariota, that doesn't mean you go after a franchise quarterback. You go see what this kid has. You go out there and see what he has. Now, before I link this over and finish off, I want to give you a shout out to my sponsor, BetUS. The link down in the description, you will have a chance to put in $100 and double, more than double, get 125% sports credit or a bonus to your account so you can bet on games like what we saw today, like the Bills and, and Vikings game or you know, what What do you think that the Falcons are going to do against the Bears? You know, all these other games that are out there. Georgia Southern's playing Marshall. You know, I'm, 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 I'm be honest with you, I'm scared to take any of those games now. I lost money last week. But it wasn't that bad because I had that 125%, you know, uh, boost or bonus. So I did not have that big of a loss. I still, you know, didn't lose my shirt. And I think that's something that you may be interested in. Go click the link down in the description if you want to look at um, trying to bet on a few games, see if you can uh, win some money, have some fun, pay some bills, get some things ready for the uh, Christmas. See if you can do all of that. That would be awesome. You know, I highly recommend it. BetUS has been do doing pretty good for me, and I highly recommend for you guys to check it out as well. The link is down in the description, and uh, we'll talk more about that later on in the week. Now, at the end of the day, I will say this. Um, I feel like Desmond Ritter gives us a pretty decent chance to win the rest of our games. And I'm not thinking we're going to win all of them. But I do feel that um, the Falcons have a good chance to upstart this uh, the second half of the season with Marcus Mariota. I mean, I'm not sorry, with Desmond Ritter. I'm looking at Marcus Mariota on the, on the screen. But with Desmond Ritter. And you have nothing to lose at this point. In my opinion, the next three games, once again, looks pretty uh, – uh, the next four games look fairly winnable, but I don't think we're going to win with Marcus Mary. I just don't see that. You're second in the division. You got to step this up. You got to. You have to step this up. Chicago, Washington, Pittsburgh, New Orleans. I'm just going to talk about the next four. I mean, you literally could walk – you you literally could walk out of this above 500 if you win these next four games or at least win three out of the four. But, but you, you just have to do it. You got to, you know, we, we got to make this happen. This is not sustainable. You know, I want, I want to see Marcus Mariota, you know, continue to be a mentor to Desmond Ritter, help him out or whatever the case may be, but on the field play is just not there. And then once you figure it out with uh, Desmond Ritter, then you can see if you need a franchise quarterback. But now's not the time. Don't let these other teams, what they're doing, fool you. This team is a pretty good team. We all know what the problem is. You don't go in and go to Seattle and beat Seattle. You don't beat Cleveland. You don't beat San Francisco. You don't beat teams like, you know, you don't be competitive with all these other teams and say that the team is bad. We all know what the problem is, but something needs to give. I'm just going to leave it there. If you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for all the support. Once again, click that link down in the description if you want to support with BetUS. Get yourself, um, I'll put $100 down, get 125% sportsbook bonus, and go in there and try to uh, win some games.
win some bets. You can bet on anything. And all that other stuff in under in that uh, umbrella. You can find a way to possibly get some stuff for your for your child like I do. <laughs> Hopefully if I win some money, I would. I'm going to get them something anyway. All the links down in the description if you want to support. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. I'm also on YouTube and Rumble. I do have a Discord. You can check that out as well. I do have a Locals. I haven't done much on Locals yet. I've been stretched out a little bit, but I'll try to put something there every now and then. And uh, hopefully that'll work out. But we're going to get out of here. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on Tuesday. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be blessed. Bye-bye. Peace.